welcome to cookwithpooja.com. Today I'm going to share the recipe of one of the most quintessential Indian starter, paneer tikka. So let's have a look at the ingredients first. For making paneer tikka, we need paneer that is cottage cheese cut into big cubes, yogurt about 3 to 4 tablespoons, mustard oil about 1 tablespoon. Why mustard oil? Because mustard oil works best with these tandoori dishes because it gives a specific aroma to the dish. One big tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, half a teaspoon garam masala, half a teaspoon red chili powder, half a teaspoon kasuri methi that is fenugreek leaves, half a teaspoon chaat masala, salt as per taste and this is food color which is only added to give a specific color to the dish but like we get it in restaurant. So this is completely optional. Half each of onion, capsicum and tomatoes cut into cubes, small cubes. While cutting tomatoes, keep in mind that remove the pulp of tomatoes as we don't need that. And these are few bamboo skewers that I have soaked in water for about an hour now. Why soaking in water is important because if we directly put these bamboo skewers in grill, they burn which looks very unpresentable. So better soak them in water and then add it to grill. We are done with the ingredients, now we will start preparing it. Paneer tikka is nothing but marinating cottage cheese with smoked roasted tandoori, onion, capsicum and tomatoes. So first step will be marination of the paneer. For making paneer tikka, the first and most important step is marinating paneer. So we will begin with marination. Add curd. Mix it well so that there are no lumps add spices red chilli powder, garam masala salt as per taste about 1 teaspoon little bit of chaat masala and whole lot of ginger garlic paste 1 tablespoon that was mix well so that all the spices and garlic ginger paste blends well with the curd. Yes, this is done. Now we are going to add lastly the food color. As you can see the color is coming up. This is the color of the paneer tikka that we get it in restaurant so to give that color we actually have to add this food color and we can also omit this step as this is only to give color not taste so it, it's up to you now I'm going to add the paneer chunks mix well Now we have mixed the paneer with the marination. At this point we can add the cubes of capsicum and onions and that too we can mix it with the marination. Now we have mixed the veggies and paneer with the marination. Now last step will be to add mustard oil to it. Now our paneer and veggies are mixed well and blended with the marination including oil and we are done. Our paneer marination is ready. Cover it with a cling wrap and keep it for 2 hours before we start preparing paneer tikkas so that the paneer absorbs the marination. And suppose if you are marinating it in afternoon for dinner, then keep the marination in fridge and take it out 1 hour before we start preparing paneer tikkas. I have preheated my oven at 200 degrees Celsius. And now I'm going to skew these paneer tikkas in the bamboo sticks. Take a bamboo stick, skew your paneer, alternatively onion and capsicum pieces to them. And then again layer up another paneer tikka. I have skewed the paneer in bamboo sticks. Sprinkle a little bit of kasuri methi. And it's time to put them in oven. Now I'll spray some oil on the oven tray. And put our bamboo sticks onto the oven plate and going to put it in the oven. 
which is already preheated at 200 degrees Celsius from past 15 minutes. Spray a little bit of oil over the tikkas also. Going to cook it for 15 minutes and butter it after every 5 minutes and keep rotating the sides of the bamboo sticks. I know what you are thinking. I don't have oven at home. What should I do? No issues. We are going to make paritikas even on frying pan or grill plate. So let's make paritikas on grill plate. Heat a pan, add some oil and put your paritikas over them. Keep frying the paneer from all the sides, rotate its sides gently so that you don't break the paneer pieces like this with lot of delicacy and care and side by side veggies also you keep on rotating. Our paneer tikka looks crisp and cooked from all the four sides. Now is the time to plate them. So gently take them out, plate it well with the veggies and now you have no regrets that I don't have an oven. You can make just the same yummy delicious pani tikka even on pan and see they are no less than a oven cooked pani tikkas isn't it? Let's have a check on pani tikkas I am sure they must have been done by now yes it's done let me just switch off the oven and start plating our pani tikkas are ready wow they look so amazing and there's no much difference also that we can make out. These are the ones we've made it on a grill plate and these are made inside the oven. So let's just taste them now. I just can't wait to taste them. Try to serve them as hot as possible. Mmm, awesome. In fact, it's perfectly cooked, not overcooked. And paneer is so soft, it dissolves in mouth. Mmm. The flavors are also perfect. So do try this recipe at your home, feather oven, feather pan, but definitely do try it when you have guests next time. Till then, stay tuned with cookwithpooja.com. It's bye from Pooja here. Bye-bye.